Okay, so we're in an echoey corridor and we're using the sanitizer shotgun mic with a windshield on. Okay, so we're using the Sennheiser K6 boom mic with the dead cow on top of it. We're around about three feet away from it. Um, we're in the bistro. Wow. Right, um, we're in the woods, by the car park, with the Sennheiser mic. So the first mic that we used was the Sennheiser shotgun mic, and the first area that we used it in was the corridor. There was a large area in the It was very echoey. Because there was loads of flats and other things. Area. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's the echoey corridor. Yeah. It's fuzzy. So, next area was the bistro. So, in bistro, there was a lot of people talking, so we had a lot of ambience receiving it. It was picking up with the main characters uh, audio quite well. Though. Then there was uh, the front of the college. So to, no, we were at the front of the college the next area. Um, there was a lot of ambience from the traffic. Uh, a lot of wind to counteract that. We used the dead cat or most of the mics. Sounds alright. Okay, so I think that pretty much just covers it. When we went into the forest, there was less noise as the trees basically covered all of the wind. Very still fuzzy. A lot of the audio was still fuzzy. So the mic still picked up. The next mic that we used was the studio mic. We had a lot of problems with it because it was being really quiet and wasn't picking up much audio. Yeah, um, when we were in the corridor, even though the reverb should have actually affected the microphone, it didn't really pick up any audio. So, we said. so the next area was the bistro. There was a lot of people there. Um, for some reason, even though there was a lot of people talking, it still didn't pick up the audio that well. Next area was the front of the college. It wasn't picking up too much noise, mainly a lot of fuzz. Um, and then there was the forest. Even though the forest was making it quiet, the studio mic still wasn't actually picking up any hit much audio from the actual character. So the next item up was the road mic. Um, we kept it on 40 hertz the whole time because 80 hertz would have given a lot of hiss and ruined the audio itself. 
um, with the corridor because it is quite an open mic. You're just going to catch a lot of the reverb, even though it did have um, a pop filter on it. Do they attach it to the camera sometimes and then do they attach it to the camera to see the difference? Next area was the Beast Room. It works quite well if you directed it towards the character and it was also picking up all the background noise so you could actually get the environment. Um, we then moved on to the front of the college, as always. It picked up a lot of the traffic noise along with the people walking past us. Didn't pick up that much wind. When we used when we went over to the forest, it actually got even better because the forest uh, made the wind silent. I so think that, that was could actually catch up with that the audience. Yeah. <laughs> so we're using the road mic, which goes on top of the cannon, um, about three feet away. Okay, so we're in the bistro, we're using the road mic and I'm three feet away. I'm outside the college and we're using the road mic and I'm three feet away. Right, we're using the road mic which mounts on top of the camera and we're outside the college in the woods. I'm standing about three feet away. So the next item up was the road mic. Um, we kept it on 40 hertz the whole time because 80 hertz would have given a lot of hiss and ruined the audio itself. Like um, with the corridor, because it is quite an open mic, it was catching a lot of the reverb, even though it did have um, a pop filter on it. Do they attach it to the camera sometimes and then do they attach it to the camera to see the difference? Both of them. Um, next area was the beast room. It works quite well if you directed it towards the character. And it was also picking up all the background noise, so you could actually get the environment. Um, we then moved on to the front of the college, as always. It picked up a lot of the traffic noise along with the people walking past us. Didn't pick up that much wind. Didn't pick up that much wind. <laughs> when we used when we went over to the forest it actually got even better because the forest uh, made the wind silent I think so that, that was the best actually catch up with that the was audience. the best So we're using the lapel mic in the corridor, um, we're three feet away from the camera. Okay, so I'm three feet away from the camera, um, I'm using the lapel mic and we're in the beast room. Three, two, one. We're standing outside the college and we're using the radio. We're um, outside the college, um, in the woods, I'm standing about three feet away <laughs> and using the lapel mic. So the next mic that we used was the label mic, also known as the radio mic. Um, first area that we used in was the corridor. It was really good. It didn't actually pick up that much reverb, probably because it had a much smaller entry area. Thanks for a great Yeah. When we were in the beast right, <laughs> it gained less reverb. Um, that was due to softer surfaces being around the room, um, although it was picking up some slight noise from people behind us. Hey Ashley, what, what, what you got to say? <laughs> oh my god! I never knew Mike's done that. <laughs>
Okay, so the next area was out in front of the college. Even though due to the heavy wind it wasn't actually picking up that much, it was still catching the audio from the actual character, um, which was great. Um, and the last area was the forest. It was really quite good in that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> does capture all of the quality of the audio, it doesn't really catch any of the reverb going around that. Uh, overall I'd probably say that the road or label might be the best, because they were capturing the audio. Uh, the audio. And the audio. Um, before every time we were recording with Mike, we made sure that it didn't go over uh, negative 12 decibels.